Just yesterday, we had released a video on an exciting new model by Meta AI called Llama 3.3. And this model is making waves as the best open source large language model currently available. What's mind blowing is that this model is outperforming major proprietary models like Gemini's large language model, Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and even OpenAI's GPT-4 Omni and various benchmarks like coding, math, and reasoning. Obviously not in everything, but in smaller categories like the ones that I stated. But what's even crazier is that the cost of Llama 3.3 is 25 times cheaper than GPT-4 Omni. Let me break it down. 1 million input tokens, which is where Llama 3.3 only costs 0.10 cents compared to GPT-4 Omni's $2.50. For 1 million output tokens, Llama 3.3 is charging a 40 cent rate whereas for GPT-4 Omni, it is a whopping $10. This is quite insane to see how cost effective this model is while not being super resource intensive. And on top of that, it packs a punch in terms of its performance. This is why today we're going to be showcasing how you can use this open source model, which has the same capability in regards to coding to many other proprietary models like OpenAI and Anthropic for coding based tasks. This is where I would like to introduce Llama Coder an old framework that we had covered on this channel where you can use this new open source model with this app that enables anyone to generate web apps and full stack applications with just a single and simple prompt. It's an open source alternative to both as well as Cursor and even Windsurf while being fully local and free. You can also access it through the Together AI API. What's great is that this framework has gotten even better since we had last covered it. You can install packages, you can have the agents autonomously execute commands for you, and there's so much more. And all of this is something that we're going to be covering today. This is the web app that you can access online through Together AI's API. You can also install this locally, which is something that we're going to be taking a look at in a bit. But let's go over and showcase this app. You can choose between different types of models like Llama 3.1405, as well as the new Llama 3.340B grammar model. Now, if you toggle this button, you're going to be able to use the ShadCN packages. For the people who do not know, ShadCN is a component library where you can use this library to help you build and design various sorts of front-end applications based off the design that you see in this package. So by simply toggling this, you're going to be able to access those components, that library, into your application that you generate with a prompt. Now, it's fairly simple. You go ahead and request it to generate something like build me a simple front end website for a SaaS company. We can simply just send in this prompt and within a couple of seconds, you're going to have it generate the code for it, where you're going to be able to see the left hand panel, which generates the code. And then you have the right hand panel, which showcases a preview of your code's visualization. And you can see it, it uses the ShadCN package and you get a really cool user interface and you can iterate further by making changes to your app over here. This is where you can say, make add on to this. I'm just going to write something simple and it's going to update your app. It's going to take the code that it had already generated and it's going to implement a couple of changes. And there we go. We can see that it added onto this where it added the choose a plan section as well as adding a couple of team members and say, once you are ready with your app, you can click on publish app and this is where you're going to be able to access it via a link. So I've copied the link and there we go. This is the app that it was capable of generating and you can see that it saves you so much time in generating this component. And thanks to together AI, it's going to be able to generate this even faster. All your code is here, so you can simply go ahead and export it. What I will say is that if it was capable of generating this code, it'd be better if it was able to also generate a file selection folder so that you can easily install or maybe even deploy it to GitHub. That's maybe a feature that I would recommend that Llama Coder uh, implements. But for now, it is definitely something that is a great alternative to many of the apps that we see. This is where you can easily get started with this completely for free, and it doesn't even require any sort of rate limit. So to install this locally, you're going to need to make sure that you fulfill a couple of the prerequisites. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is going to be used to help us clone the repository onto our desktop. 
make sure that you have Python as your programming language, as well as VS Code. This is where we're going to be using this to help us configure the APIs such as the Together AI API. So make sure you also have this because this is going to be used for inference. So once you have all those things ready, what you can do is just simply go ahead and copy this command over here, git clone the repository link. If you do not want to use this, you can obviously get the link from pressing this green button, copying it to clipboard. But now what you can do is just open up your command prompt, go ahead and paste in this link and click enter. It's going to clone the repository. And once it has done so, you can go into VS Code, once you have opened up VS Code, you can then open up the Llama Coder file. Folder, I mean. But once you have opened it up, go over to this file, which is example.env. And then you can rename this, and then you can take out the .example. Once you have done so, just paste in your API key. Then what you can do is just click on File, click Save. You can actually close this. Then what you can do is head over to the Llama Coder file, or the folder. And that's by typing in cd llama coder, and then click Enter. You're going to first need to install the packages using npm so you need to also make sure you have the npm package installed on your computer once that is done you can then paste in this link and you're going to be able to start installing all the necessary packages once it has finished installing all these packages you can then use the npm run dev command to start it locally so we can then paste this in and then we're going to be able to access it through our local host so go ahead and copy this and then you're going to be able to now start chatting with Llama Coder locally. And there we go. Now, since we have together AI's API linked to this, we're going to be able to access all of these models, even Quen 2.5 Coder. So you can see that you get a lot of flexibility with this package or this, I would say, repository locally. And it's going to allow you to generate things on your local computer. So now let's test out Llama Coder further. We're going to have it build a mobile friendly expense tracker web app. And this is where I shouldn't even put this in. But this is an expense tracker web app, which has a home page summarizing total expenses and income and input to input expenses like data amount category, a dashboard with charts, a setting page, which is going to help you categorize and manage your expenses and a CSV expert functionality. Make sure that it's clean, a modern UI. So now we just need to select the right model and then we need to enable ChatCN so that we utilize that package. So now let's send this in and let's see what it's capable of generating. You can see it's using React and it is doing a fast job in generating the code for us. So let's see what it's gonna be capable of generating. Now, for some reason, I keep getting this something went wrong error. So what I tend to do to fix this is I just simply send this in to, to make a change and I tell it, I got this error, fix this please. So we can send this in now, and then we can then have it sent back into uh, Llama Coder to fix that error. I accidentally published it, but let's see what it's capable of generating now. And there we go. We have the first iteration of this app. We're actually going to publish this, and I'm going to go ahead and see how this looks on a full page. Now, it does look like it has written all the things that I wanted, total expenses, adding expenses, you have different categories. You have a dashboard to see and track this. So let's put in a random date. Let's say I spent around $10 and let's say it was on food and we're just gonna simply go ahead and add that. So I have one along, I was, saw something pop up but it ended up refreshing the page. Now in terms of setting, you can export the CSV. I'm pretty sure this is not functional because it's not linked to a backend, but you have this main dashboard and then you have the settings section over here. Now that was just one simple example of what I was capable of doing with Llama Coder. There's so much more to this and I definitely recommend that you try this out. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below, but having this link to the new Llama 3.3 model definitely enhances its capabilities. And it just goes to show that this new model is truly unique and it is something that I definitely recommend that you try out. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private uh, discord as well as different ai subscriptions that are given to you on a monthly basis follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas